What's up, Cancer? With your November love general reading. This is for the lovely Cancerians. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general love reading. It may not resonate with every Cancer out there. So guys, this is a general reading. As always in a general, roles can be reversed, energies can be reversed, and cross-watchers, this very well may play out from your perspective or be a personal reading for you. So just apply it where it fits. If it's not for you, it's definitely not for you. So Spirit, tell me about Cancer. What's going on in November in regards to love? Bring forth the current energy surrounding Cancer in regards to love. We have Ace of Swords in reverse. Four of Pentacles in reverse, Five of Swords. We have Five of Wands. We have Ace of Wands in reverse. Ooh. So with the Empress being here, I do feel Cancer. You're trying to, I feel, really stay in a good energy in this connection, stay in a really good, attractive, like noble, dignified energy. So maybe you've learned some lessons. You've seen the truth of how relationships and the energy exchange works in relationships. So I feel you've, you're really trying your best to apply all your knowledge and your wisdom to this situation. However, you still have some intense feelings you're dealing with. You, I feel like you're kind of wanting to go back to past patterns, but you're really trying your best to hold out here and just show this person um, your worth, your value, just be that amazing person and i do feel this person is definitely noticing that very much with this judgment card they've maybe seen something new about you they're continuing to get more and more understanding of you and i feel like it's going deeper where they're having to really battle themselves now maybe they've been trying to maybe keep you as just a friend or something and um they're seeing it goes way way deeper than that so the lovers being on their side they do understand that you are some kind of like soulmate some kind of very um, they have a very deep connection with you that goes much beyond just friendship. And I do feel like they're not ready to maybe accept that right at the moment. But Leah, let's see what are they battling. Maybe they're just not ready for this. And yeah, look at that. Here's the four of cups. They're just not ready for this love. Doesn't mean they never will be. Just right now, um, they might have some stuff they need to rearrange or change in their life. Uh, let's see, what are they seeing clearly or waking up to? But the love is definitely there for you. So there's um, no doubt about that. Here's the fool. So I feel like they're understanding that they need to maybe do something new in their life, take a risk. Um, maybe they're, they're realizing how much they want to start a new life with you, but they're fighting with maybe just staying in their comfort zone instead. So let's see, this is beautiful connecting energy, though. You guys started something real together. So um, I feel like this is something you guys are building a foundation that's going to last for a very long time and is going to lead to some serious happiness between you two. And already right now, you guys bring each other a lot of happiness. The King of Swords, there still is a guard up between both of you where maybe you're not admitting a lot of these feelings for one another here. Yeah, look at the Seven of Swords. You both are being kind of secretive about how you really feel. You feel like you, you just can't bring the truth out. Maybe you feel like the timing is just not right right now. Okay, but this is something I feel very beautiful in development. For a lot of you, this has the potential to, when you guys um, are, like see that you can trust each other over time, you know, uh, just let things grow slowly over time. I feel like you guys are going to be able to open up more and more. And I, when the lovers comes up, I feel like this is something that really can't be erased from someone's soul. You know, it's not just a temporary passion. It's in deep soul bond. There's deep love. Okay, can your vulnerability, you can be completely open with this person. Now, this is interesting, Cancer, because I feel like this is kind of what you're struggling with right now. I feel like you feel you can trust this person because, I mean, look, you guys have this beautiful start here together, uh, beautiful foundation, but you're still just scared of opening up more. You're afraid of maybe shifting the dynamics of the relationship too much and afraid of shifting, like, the good happiness and sweetness you do have together. And for them... Okay, we have um, play hard, find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. So yeah, I'm feeling that this is what this person wanted this to just be like just a fun, playful, maybe friendship connection, but it's going a lot deeper for them. Yeah, it's going a lot deeper. Look at this obsession. Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. And so um, yeah, they're very, with leave a fake with the fool here. So this is um, this, these deep feelings are driving them to need to change their life. We have two very plutonian cards here obsession and judgment so whoa this person's having to deal with some like deep dark stuff it feels like i feel like over time things will start um they will let things continue to transform but they just need to take their time 
So okay, let's just get a connecting card to you for this. Why not? Okay. Wow. Okay. This is nice. This relationship is moving toward a sacred union. So yeah, the Ten of Cups can point to a marriage. So yeah, even if it's not like actual, um, you know, legal marriage, I just feel like you guys are moving closer and closer together on all levels. So a, a union on all levels. That's beautiful. You guys could already be like married in spirit. The lover's card, this feels like a married in spirit card to me as well. So this person very much feels this on a deep level. And I feel like they're scared of it. I feel like they're kind of blaming themselves. They feel like they let themselves develop the feelings. They, didn't understand, they don't understand that the feelings were already there in their soul. There's nothing they can do about it. Too bad. Here's attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay, so yeah, obviously you are highly attracted to this person. Um, I feel like it's a very mutual attraction here. But um, what I'm getting is this is you with the Empress here owning your energy and becoming uh, really increasing your attraction and your magnetism. You're learning how to do this by enjoying this moment fully. So that's some great advice for you, Cancer, if you did not know that. So um, maybe this, yeah, this advice coming through for you is work on feeling attractive. Um, you can do this. And speaking of that, you can go on YouTube and look at all sorts of law of attraction videos that kind of coach you how to um, feel more beautiful and attractive in yourself. Just simply by shifting your thoughts and your energy and your feelings, it's uh, really am amazing what you can do to change your um, your whole experience by just some like mental and emotional shifts. Okay, so let's see. So this person, yeah, I feel like there's getting just very drawn to you. And here's you deserve love. You are lovable. So I see this. This can be long distance here for you guys, but I feel like this person is trying to kind of keep their distance here. They they see you as extremely lovable for sure. They see you as very deserving of their love and everything that they possibly could give you. Um, yeah, they, they feel like you deserve love. You deserve happiness for sure. I feel like they wish they could give you a lot more right now. So I feel like they are doing their best. Like if you guys are at a distance or there's obstacles between you, they're doing everything they can to give you what they can. They, I feel like they want to give you a lot more. Okay, what else from cancer? <laughs> here's I could be your hero baby this is kind of like the six of wands here he's another one so I feel like you want to help this person out you're, you're will, really willing to do a lot for this person and I have so much desire for you yeah I, I think that's on both sides and you're doing what you can to just keep pulling this person and keep them interested in you I worry about us a lot yeah, this goes along with this obsession card and this person's like overthinking this. You're overthinking this as well. And here's maybe. So yeah, this is this kind of goes along with this battling here with the five of wands. So they're in some kind of gray area here. Like, yeah, the four of cops feels very gray. Like they're having a hard time really accepting something. And here's I meant what I said. So this person, I feel like they um they'll try to be as honest as possible. So maybe they don't really um you know talk too much because they don't want to come out with things that they don't mean and this is on the bottom of the deck i'm addicted to you i feel like this could be for both of you it's a devil <laughs> where it's just like all this obsessive thinking let's see what's this maybe carnal about okay here's the seven of wands here's this person fighting again maybe like just not sure if they're ready to to let you in or not And here's the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so if this person, this won't be for all of you, but if this person's with someone else right now, um, I feel like your this connection with you is causing them to question if they're truly happy with this person, if they're truly meant to be with this person, especially since they're feeling this out of this world, like um, match made in heaven with you. Okay, and here's divine connection. So yeah, I feel like you definitely recognize this as something very special, um, something that really will uplift both of you and has an amazing impact on both of you. And here's someone new. And third party. Okay, well, that's a confirmation of what we were just saying here. So yeah, they, they are struggling with accepting maybe you as someone new into this connection here. For a few of you, this could of course mean like someone new came into their life, but that's only if that's resonating for you. Um, let's see, one more. 
and your sacred union. So interesting that we have two cards about sacred union here. And um, so, yeah, I do feel like this person is struggling to accept what they're feeling with you. And here's I love you as well. The someone new card could also mean they are becoming someone new. Um, they're working very hard to become this new person, to being reborn, to being reborn into this new life, you know, out of their comfort zone. And here is man holding a heart, number 45. Okay, so yeah, I feel like this uh, for you, Cancer, is just more evidence of how much you are setting yourself up into a very attractive magnetic energy right now that you are going to continue to have a lot of offers coming in for you. Um, I feel that you could also, um, like this person could really, I feel like you do hold their heart. <laughs> and let's see, anything else here? I feel like you ought to be, you do see that this person has um, deep feelings for you and you want to be as careful with their heart as possible. I feel like you really honor where they've been vulnerable with you and you see that as a gift. And I feel like you want to just protect them. You're very, I feel very protective of this person. Okay. And then for them, we have magician in the mirror, number 53. So yeah, this person right now, I feel like they're doing a lot of introspection, a lot of deep inner work and um, trying to become, to trying to get more into their power because they thought they knew themselves, but they don't really, they're like, maybe. <laughs> and here's appreciation number 15. So this is lovely and corticopia 11. So this person feels like uh, mostly nothing but good things with you. They have high regard, high appreciation for you. Uh, you make them feel really, really good. All right, we will get some more details now. So what else is going on with you, Cancer? Here's the Hanging Man reversed. And we have the Four of Swords. So I feel like you've been trying to withdraw and hold back as much as you can. I feel like you're maybe waiting for this person to communicate with you more. You're letting them come to you. You're being in your more receptive energy here. Maybe you're working on healing yourself as much as possible. And here is the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you're definitely keeping to yourself right now. Let's still put this hanging in. And here's the Eight of Swords. And I feel like you're having a hard time just going with the flow as well. Like you still have some anxiety around just maybe letting this person take the lead and come to you. So it, this is this is kind of struggle for you here. I feel like you're juggling a lot going back and forth between, um, you know, thinking about this person, wanting to contact them, and then just getting the focus back on yourself. So the focus is always going over to them. And then you're like, I need to just get it on myself. So you could be really struggling with just focusing on yourself right now. But you both are just like obsessing over one another, I think. Wow, the lover's coming up again. How beautiful. <laughs> so I feel like they know you're the one for them. Like they're only one. Here's a page of swords. And they're very hesitant to approach that and go near that. So I feel like they're really feeling your beauty and like your amazing energy. And it's like they don't want to get too close because they just get pulled in so much. And then they just can't help themselves. They're trying to maintain control with the king of swords here. Here's the seven of pentacles. They could be, it could be like a delayed gratification thing. Like they want to build this up over time. And then, so when you guys do actually get together, like the payoff will be amazing, you know? So um, like if you guys got together, like immediately when you met, it wouldn't mean as much as if, you know, you wait like several months or a year or whatever. And then you're finally together and it would, it, it's, there's just, it's just so much more to appreciate that way. Okay, and here's the four of wands. Yeah, we're just speaking of a union here. So I feel like this is what they're seeing in the future is more. Like you guys having this um, complete and wonderful, stable life together. You know, they want you in their life for a very long time. Okay, what else is going on with you, Chancer? Here's the seven of cups. So you're having to be in the clouds a lot about this person. You can be doing a lot of dreaming fantasizing about this person maybe also thinking about other options too if there has been any kind of um you know withdrawal from them 
And here's the Knight of Cups. So overall, you have the most romantic feelings for this person here. And here's the Eight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like they're kind of overwhelming you sometimes. Five of Wands, you, you fight with them every day, just like this person's fighting with their feelings as well. I feel like you really are trying to get control of the feelings right now, Cancer. Maybe try to just calm down, distance yourself from them a bit. Yeah, because I feel like you, just like this person, you're having a tendency to get like really obsessed about this connection right now. All right, we about them. Here's the Three of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles. And the Ten of Wands. I feel like this person could be very busy, like, working on a new financial start in their life right now. Um, and they this kind of takes up their time and their focus. So maybe if they haven't been like communicating with you as much, I feel like that could be part of the detail, detail of the um, feel here. They do have a lot of responsibilities. They could have other part, other parties they're um, responsible to, you know, that doesn't have to mean another relationship. It can mean like family, children, nine of pentacles. Yeah. It's really okay. They're, they are struggling to gain like financial independence or more independent somehow. Uh, maybe breaking out on their own and, you know, emotional dependence, e independence even. And I feel like this is really weighing on them every day. And so it's something they're struggling with that they're probably not telling you too much about. And you might just be taking like some of that withdrawal as them losing interest in you, but they're really not. Um, I do feel with the three of pentacles, ace of pentacles, seven of pentacles, they are still really invested in this connection. This to me this is all like making something very real, very stable, Okay, let's see. What are your intentions toward them, Cancer? Here's the King of Cups. So here's all this deep care you have for this person. Eight of Pentacles. And Temperance. All right, so yeah, right now, more self-focus is coming through for you, Cancer. Um, learning to be more independent with the Queen of Swords. So again, I'm getting that you're just trying to set it up to let this person come to you more rather than you trying to reach out and push and force something to ha happen. Um, but I feel like you are there for this person. You're solid for them with this King of Cups. Your love and care for this person's not going away anytime soon, especially with the temperance. You're working on like merging and blending with this person, setting up a beautiful union together, um, willing to do what it takes to just um, do your healing work, to do anything that stands in the way of to to improve anything that stands in the way of you two um coming together more fully okay but being excuse me for their intentions toward you cancer queen of cups interesting we have counterparts here king and queen of cups so i feel like you both have intentions to really honor one another honor one another's feelings and um just i feel like you find each other very beautiful you find each other's hearts very beautiful and you really really care about each other's emotions i feel like that's the, one of the things you like best about each other is maybe how emotionally expressive um you are each of you are or just like the depth like i feel like you both have a really amazing depth of emotions that's why this person really feels like you are their their deep love because they feel like you match them emotionally because they're like this emotional match you are you're you're um, somewhat like-minded, but you're even more like-hearted. And here's the Hierophant. And the Emperor. So I feel like this person... Let's see, what is this? The Wheel. Nice. I feel like this person is um, wanting to continue to deepen the commitment with you. This is Taurus and Aries here. And um, they right now are working to build themselves into the best possible version of themselves to maybe feel like they're on your level. So we don't have the emperor up here just yet. So they are working hard at that. I feel like they do have some um, divine assistance with that as well. This can also mean, you know, they're, will they're just kind of wanting to see how this plays out, kind of go with the flow. They don't want to force a lot, but they just like you want to be there for them. Like, I feel like they are very solidly there for you as well. Very solid presence in your life they're there for you. Here's the queen of pentacles. So this could be the queen of pentacles showing up again. So this could mean, you know, there is some um, cycles that they still need to let play out with someone else. Um, that could even be like a parent here as well. So that have to be like a spouse. Um, 
Okay, let's see. What are their main blocks and fears in this connection with you, Cancer? Here's the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so that just came up. And it seems we came up here. So I do feel like there there's maybe some events that need to play out in their life first or just you know they're not willing to maybe force this or take control of the situation right now they just want to kind of see how things go um and this could also be speaking of finances as well this is showing up they don't feel like maybe they are the king of pentacles yet so they're like i need to get more control of myself my finances before i can move toward my destiny here okay what are you both thinking about each other actually let me get another oracle card for what are their blocks and fears in this connection with you Here is um, listening, number 23. So maybe they need to work on listening to their heart some more here. And rigid, number 30. Yeah, so they, they are blocking some of what their heart is saying out right now since we have the King of Swords here. But both of you are kind of doing that. But again, overall, I feel like the person very much knows that they love you a lot and they're there for you. They're not going anywhere. Okay, so what are you both thinking about each other, Cancer? Here's the Three of Cups. So I feel both of you see each other as a joy um, in each other's lives. And this could also speak of if there was a third party situation, both of you are thinking a lot about that. And you're just like, gosh, it's like a block. Let's see. But overall, I feel like the Three of Cups here, you both see each other as an amazing friend, like beautiful, amazing friend. And here's the Queen of Swords. Yeah, that is a confirmation of both of you thinking a lot about maybe how to get independent from a third party situation. Okay, so what are you both feeling about each other? Here's the Queen of Cups. This is so sweet. And what is this? Um, the Ten of Swords. So both of you feel that you're a healer for one another. You've helped each other heal from lots of pain in the past. And I feel both of you, there is a trust here between you two that you feel like you're never going to like betray each other like cut each other off now it might not be on this opening up about the love between you two just yet um but i feel like you guys you're both just very committed to um you caring about each other and being there for one another and healing one another as much as you possibly can and continuing to move things forward together with the three of wands you know there's a lot of excitement and optimism in this connection yeah three of wands knight of wands and we at eight of wands wow oh my goodness Okay, so all of these are like travel or overseas cards as well. So yeah, if there is long distance here, I feel like this is part of your feelings. You guys are feeling that pull to travel toward one another. Um, if it's not long distance, this is just a lot of passion and excitement and enthusiasm about this connection because um, you each care about each other a lot. And so this just makes you want to be in each other's presence. Okay, what might you expect from this person in the next couple weeks? Cancer is current me out. Seven of Swords. All right. So yeah, this person's not going to be opening up much. Um, it's like, here's the King of Cups. That mostly speaking of their feelings here. They don't want to be opening up about how they, they're truly feeling. Um, but you might be seeing through their actions or just feeling their energy, how much they do really care about you. I feel like sometimes they're trying to kind of lie to themselves. Three of Pentacles, so you guys, um, you know, if you work together, seeing them at work and business as usual. Um, but I feel like there could be some deepening feelings. If you guys are working together, it's just making their feelings grow for you more and more. They just, they love it. They love working with you. They feel like um, you guys are really going somewhere together. Okay, so um, let's see. Let's get some advice for you, Cancer. We'll get some message cards. Here's come to the edge, number 36. So this is another like leap of faith card. All right. So maybe this connection is pushing you to the edge, Cancer. What else do you need to know? I feel it's meant to, because you're meant to be breaking out of your comfort zone. You're meant to be breaking out of your routines. You're meant to be calming. You're meant to be calm, like the best possible version of yourself. So keep working on that. Keep doing that. If you are having hard time and struggles with, the difficult thoughts in this connection. Um, just keep doing your best to develop yourself. You know, really, I feel like you can really look into some like law of attraction videos and stuff. And oh, here's the fates number 17. So this could be saying just know you do have a special destiny ahead of you. 
So you'd have to go to the edge first for that. Um, you have to be pushed to your limits. Um, you know, of course, if you need help, get help. You don't. Um, but you guys are definitely becoming a star. And then here's the building blocks 28. So step by step, you can't, Rome can't be built in day. You have to do this. You have to build towards your destiny one block at a time. So same with this connection. Like a lot of you, this connection is very faded, very much part of your um, highest life plan for this life, your divine plan. So um, yeah, it's all part of the, the blueprint. It's being built according to the blueprint. So you have to be patient, you know, as long as you feel in your heart, things, things are good. And this person does care about you, then, you know, keep going. Okay. Keep working on yourself in the meantime. All right. So what um, might they say to you, cancer? I wasn't honest with you. Wow. That seven of swords showing up as well. So I feel like this could be mostly like their feelings or maybe something about the third party situation, not wanting to open up about what's really going on there. I screwed up. Wow. Yeah. And we have, I'm taking action. Okay. So they want to keep moving this along. And I want you. Yeah. If there's any doubt, they do want you. They don't show it enough. It's like kind of like a deep, thing underneath please forgive me and please forgive me for not opening up more and we have i feel guilty i remember everything about you i don't know why i keep pushing you away i'm sorry because i love you and so i don't know why I'm afraid of being hurt again. This could be part of the reason. Or they're afraid of hurting you. They're afraid of hurting others. Um, please don't give up on me. I need you to help me grow. For most of you, this is a very worthwhile person in connection. You guys are building something and growing together. You are my secret passion. Yes, you're my secret obsession. How do I get you alone? Oh. And, oh, wow, it's like we're star-crossed lovers. Will we ever make it work? Yes, you're going to go and be star-aligned lovers now. And here's I love your sense of humor. So something cute and um, nice lights to end on, especially with this. You know, find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. So I like that we're coming back around full circle here. Like, they, they love laughing with you. So that's something that's really going to help you guys develop this connection and stick together over the long run. Okay, Cancer, I think that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for joining me here. There is an extended link below if you really like this reading, if you really feel it was yours. Um, we're going to look more into how they're feeling about you and get more message cards from them. And I would love to have you subscribe here if you're new and you like this reading. I come out with cancer readings once a week with um, all the other signs as well. So um, thank you so much, Cancer. Can't thank you enough for your awesome support here, for being surprised. Surprise. <laughs> subscribe. Well, I hope good surprises and um, for watching all my videos. Thank you. You're so welcome here. And always. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in the extended if you're interested. And if not, hope to see you very soon. Take care, Cancer. Bye-bye.